Puppy, you look bored. Yes, you do. You look like a bored puppy. Yeah. It's a bored puppy. It wants, it wants to go out and walk. I know it does. It does. It wants to go out and walk. But it's stuck inside here. And this one's stuck in here too. Yeah. The puppy's stuck in this car. It, it's stuck in the car with me. Yeah. It is. Yeah. The puppy's stuck in the car with me. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, I love this. I love this dog. This is my favorite dog. It's my favorite dog. Yes, it is. It's my favorite dog. Oh, yeah. It, yes, it is. Yeah. Anyway, I got the bad news this morning that uh, my YouTube friend and uh, fellow crusader and exposing Islam on the internet, Nabil Qureshi, I uh, learned it from uh, Introverted Smiles that he's got cancer. And then I went over to Nabil Qureshi's uh, new YouTube account and found out it's far worse than I imagined. First stage stomach cancer when I when I heard him say that I just I just put my hands on my face and just cringed knowing hey it's over it's over unless God works a miracle by uh, getting uh, David Koreshi to find out where Jimmy Carter is and saying hey how did you cure your brain cancer you know that you only had you said you only had weeks left with you know what I mean And, um, anyway, I really think, poor guy, it's over. But you know something? Being that he was a Muslim who left Islam and became a Christian, he now has the eyes of many Muslims on him to see how he deals with what they know which which they'll have to I mean if you're a Muslim how can you not think that Allah cursed him you know for leaving Islam and for exposing Islam on the internet you you'd have to think that Allah cursed him and gave him cancer I mean if I were Muslim I would think that I mean when I was a Mormon if someone left Mormonism I think well Elohim was going to curse that guy and uh, give him cancer because he left the Mormon church. And that's how I felt when I was a Mormon. And when I left Mormonism, <laughs> I knew that a lot of Mormons were going to think the same way. Oh, Elohim is going uh, to uh, curse that guy for uh, leaving uh, Mormonism. He's going to become a drunkard and a drug addict and uh, screw girls' brains out and stuff like that. And... Uh, I mean that's what they that's what they thought. Yeah. And he's going to smoke his life away. But you know something there is something really good in this even if God doesn't heal Nabil, if you know what I mean. Because as they are focused on him to see how he respond to this curse and face it you know, cancer is a curse. You know, it. Uh, you wonder, oh my gosh, I do something wrong, or you know, you you can't help but thinking things like, what did I do wrong? Because you know, two and a half years ago, I I, I thought I had uh, terminal uh, bladder cancer. I thought, what did I do something wrong? Of course, in that scripture, came to my mind. You know, uh, that says, uh, well, you don't know, but this is the the scripture. Uh, the rain falls on, on the just and the unjust. Uh, God's no respecter of persons, so I thought, well, hey, why not have bladder cancer, you know? Well, that was two and a half years ago, and I was pissing blood clots, and I really thought it was over with me, but here I am, not pissing blood clots now, and so far feeling okay, to the point where I don't even think I had bladder cancer. I mean, I really don't know if I, well, I don't know if I had it or not, but at the time I did, I thought I had bladder cancer, and I thought I was done for. Um, 
I was taking turmeric and uh, drinking uh, pomegranate juice and then exercising to keep uh, the carbs in the pomegranate juice from uh, feeding the cancer cells because I hear that uh, cancer cells love sugar. So I try to burn it off in, in exercise before the carbs fed the cancer cells. And who knows? I don't know. Maybe that did. I don't know. As again, I really don't know for sure if it was blood or cancer. But anyway, it really sounds like Nabil has stomach cancer and uh, four stage. And if that's true, he's going to need our prayers big time. Uh, I had, as I said, earlier in another video uh, or maybe said in this one I can't really tell but I had two friends who uh, came down with four stage cancer my girlfriend four stage breast cancer and a fellow friend of mine classmate of mine who uh, came down with four stage bile duct cancer they went through uh, the chemotherapy and stuff and all day was they're trying to buy themselves some time and all day was torture them and I thought well hey if I ever get uh, four stage cancer I'm not going to do what they did. I'm just going to let it kill me. But I'm going to eat a lot of marijuana salads and things like that. But hey, I've discovered some people that did survive for a stage cancer. And Jimmy Carter is the most famous one. If that's true, that he really even... I mean, if it's true. That he only had a week's left and here it is. So if I were Nabil... Sure, I'd pray, but I also tried to get in contact with Jimmy Carter to find out uh, what's how he beat it. And at the same time, continue doing what I'm doing, which is exposing Islam on the internet. Because Nabil is really good at that. And right now, because he has this cancer, so many Muslims are going to be watching him. Just like I'm... Like, like uh, the Philistines are watching Samson in the House of Dagon. And... Now he has the possibility of pushing out the pillars, not of Dagon, but of uh, Allah, and uh, doing something really great. So I see, I see a lot of potential now for Nabil, even if his destruction is now imminent. I see him doing fantastic stuff now, even if he isn't healed. Bye.